Campi Flegre eyes Naples. Earthquake at Italy's Campi Flegre volcano sparks fears of eruption. A powerful wave of seismic activity at Campi Flegre, a massive supervolcano near Naples, Italy, is raising new concerns among scientists about the potential for a major eruption. In May, the Flegrean fields near Naples were rocked by a magnitude 4.4 earthquake, the strongest in 40 years. Over the past six months, scientists have recorded more than 3,000 small quakes, known as tremors, far above normal seismic activity for the area. Experts say eruptions are usually preceded by increased earthquake activity as underground pressure builds. These small quakes can weaken the rock above a volcano's magma chamber, making it easier for magma to escape. Think of it like steam building up in a pressure cooker. If the lid is too loose, the pot could explode. Geologists have also observed a sharp increase in gas being released from the volcano, another warning sign. Adding to the concerns, carbon dioxide emissions from Campi Flegre have soared, with Italy's National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology INGV, reporting daily levels of between 4,000 and 5,000 tons. Experts say increased gas emissions often mean magma is moving closer to the surface, putting more pressure on the volcano. According to Italy's National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology, the magma is currently only a few miles below the surface, a shallow depth that raises even more concerns. If pressure continues to build, it could trigger an eruption without warning, especially with all the recent earthquakes and gas releases. Christopher R.J. Kilburn, a leading volcanologist at IGNV, said, Distinguishing between gas emissions caused by magma movement and those produced by natural rock interactions is crucial. Campi Flegre poses a serious threat to the more than 4 million people living in the Naples metropolitan area. If it erupts, the damage could be widespread. Buildings could be destroyed by lava flows, ash clouds, and fast-moving hot gases. Roads, electricity, and water supplies could be cut off, making life dangerous and chaotic. The city of Naples and nearby towns like Pozzuoli are located close to Campi Flegre, putting many lives and homes in the danger zone.
A new study led by Gianmarco Buono, a PhD student at the University of Naples Federico II, suggests that about 80% of the carbon dioxide released from the Solfatara crater comes directly from the magma beneath the Earth's surface. This means the magma is releasing gas, a strong sign that it may be moving closer to the surface. The other 20% of the gas comes from hot fluids reacting with underground rocks, a natural process that doesn't necessarily mean an eruption is imminent. Scientists watch this gas release along with swelling of the ground and thousands of small earthquakes because they are all major warning signs of an impending eruption. As magma moves upward, it pushes gas out, building pressure inside the volcano. Too much pressure can cause cracks and trigger a dangerous eruption. Campi Flegre means burnt fields. It is a large volcanic crater that formed when a massive eruption thousands of years ago caused the ground above the magma chamber to collapse. Campi Flegre's last eruption was in 1538. While it doesn't erupt very often, with major eruptions occurring every few thousand years, the volcano has shown signs of restlessness in recent decades. Scientists say it's impossible to predict exactly when the next eruption will occur, but recent activity suggests it could happen sooner than expected. Since 2005, the land in the area has been slowly rising and falling in a process called bradyseism. This occurs when magma and gas build up underground, pushing the surface up or causing it to sink back down. In the nearby town of Pozzoli, for example, the land has risen about 4.7 feet during the current phase. It's like the surface of the Earth, slowly swelling like a balloon as magma pushes up from below. Using a mechanical failure model, commonly used in structural engineering, they studied how the rocks beneath Campi Flegre respond to the stress. Their findings suggest the crust is shifting from simply bending to cracking, a change that often precedes an eruption.